हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्रियंका आर्य कंसल्टेंट गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट एट क्यूरियस मल्टी स्पेशलिटी क्लिनिक नोएडा वी आर हेयर टू डिस्कस सम फैक्ट्स ऑन टेम्प्रेरी मेथड्स ऑफ फैमिली प्लानिंग एज अ नेम सजेस्ट टेम्प्रेरी मेथड्स प्रोवाइड कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन फॉर सम टाइम ओनली नीड टू बी रीयूज अगेन दे आर यूज फॉर स्पेसिंग द चाइल्ड बर्थ और पोस्टपोनिंग द प्रेगनेंसी The temporary methods include barrier methods, intrauterine devices, hormonal methods and emergency contraceptives. Barrier contraceptives. These methods prevent the sperm deposition in the vagina or prevent the sperm penetration through the cervical canal. There are two types of barrier methods, mechanical and chemical. Mechanical barrier methods include male and female condoms diaphragms and cervical caps chemicals like spermicides in the form of creams and jelly and also a vaginal sponge can be used next intrauterine devices many types of properties and hormone releasing properties known by levonorgestrel iud lng iud's are available now in market so these are inserted inside the uterine cavity where they cause certain biological and histological changes in the endometrium which have gametotoxic and spermicidal effects they also cause changes in the cervical mucosa thereby preventing the sperm transfer in the uterine cavity they also interfere with the motility of tube and sperm transport hormone containing intrauterine devices causes suppression of the endometrium and also helps in bringing about certain cervical changes in the female hormonal methods hormonal methods include oral contraceptive pills implants and injectable progestins these methods work by inhibiting the ovulation causing changes in the endometrium and also bringing about some cervical changes Emergency contraceptives work if taken within first 5 days of unprotected intercourse. It causes or prevents ovulation. It prevents fertilization, delays ovulation, also causes the changes in the endometrium, making it unfavorable for implantation. Yes, there are temporary birth control methods which can be used by males. it includes condom also a method known as coitus interruptus or withdrawal method is there where the semen is ejaculated not inside the female vagina but outside this method can be used by male so no contraceptive is 100% safe every contraceptive have some side effects and some failure rate attached to it we can talk in terms of failure rate only condoms and barrier methods have high failure rate lowest failure rate is seen with combined hormonal contraceptives the best form of birth control for men apart from abstinence is vasectomy or the permanent occlusion of vas deferens so it depends upon the method used condoms or the barrier method are used for the that day only ocp works for the month in which they are taken coperty 375 also known as multiload works for 5 years coperty 380a works for 10 year lng iud that is a levonorgestrel intrauterine devices work for 5 to 7 years implants like implanon and norplant 2 work for 3 years Injectable progestins like DMPA work for three months. So we have certain MEC criteria, that is the medical eligible criteria laid by WHO on the safety of various contraceptive methods for certain health condition. In MEC, safety of each contraceptive is determined by several considerations. So we have to see. that whether the contraceptive used in such patients with medical condition is causing worsening of the symptoms causing new additional symptoms or in such current medical condition can such contraceptives be used or are effective or not effective 
we have to judge these things and then only we can give a contraceptive to such patients with medical condition. For this MEC have laid four categories. There are four categories of MEC. Category 1, 2, 3, 4. Category 1 is the condition in which there is no risk for usage of such contraceptive. In category 2, the advantages of using contraceptive is more than the risk. In category 3, the risk outweighs the advantages and in category 4, the method of contraception is contraindicated. No contraceptive is 100% safe. I will reinforce this fact. Even with the natural family planning method, there is always some risk of pregnancy. With the barrier methods, there is a high risk of failure. In intrauterine devices, there are chances of pelvic infection, pelvic pain, chances of ectopic pregnancy, menstrual irregularities, and a failure rate of 0.1 to 2%. With oral contraceptive pills, we have minor and major complications associated with it. Minor complications include nausea, vomiting, mood changes in patients using contraceptive pills, as well as breakthrough bleeding and menstrual irregularities. The major side effects, though rare, are life-threatening conditions like thromboembolism, hypertension, cholestatic jaundice. So every method have their own failure rates. Condoms have a very high failure rate of 5 to 21 per 100 women year, even if used correctly and consistently. On the other hand, we see that OSI pills, that is the oral contraceptive pills, have a failure rate of 0.1 per 100 women year only. Copper tea have a failure rate of 0.8 per 100 women year. LNG IUD has a failure rate of 0.2 per 100 women year. And implants have a failure rate of 0 to 0.3 per 100 women year. DMPA has a failure rate of 0 to 0.3 per 100 women year. So if we talk about regaining the fertility after usage of such temporary methods, as the name suggests, I already told you that it's a temporary method. That is, there will be a return of fertility once you stop using this method. So in oral contraceptive pill, it acts to prevent pregnancy only for that month only. If you're not taking oral contraceptive pill for the next month, then there are high chances of you being getting pregnant in the next month only. In DMPA, that is the injectable progesterone, there is slight delay in regaining the fertility for about 4 to 8 months. In intrauterine devices like multi-load, it is there for 5 years in your body and will work till then only. Copper T380A will work for 10 years. Similarly, LNG IOD will work for 5 to 7 years. After that, there are high chances of getting pregnant with these devices. Hopefully, I was able to solve some of your queries in regard to the family planning methods. In case of any query, you can drop a comment in the comment box and I will try to answer it. You can like and share our video and subscribe our channel. It motivates us to bring about new educational videos. Thank you.